on this morning. Loved meeting little Alan. Oh, cracking, wasn't it? I can't wait. Watch it. If you haven't so watched it yet, yeah, watch it because it's such a wonderful series. Lovely. It's... Make you laugh, make you cry. I, I did the one. Uh, now then, uh, we're about to do something that could shock you. Uh, ahead of us are some pretty filthy things. Yes, we have makeup bags belonging to some of our team, and their owners have been very honest and they told <laughs> us they've not had a good clean out in a very long time. Yeah, makeup artist Pauline Briscoe is here to give your makeup bag a spring clean. Before she does that, she's going to be telling us what could be lurking inside. Uh, this is the bit that I'm nervous of, Pauline. Are you exactly ready? What sort of things might we find? Well, research shows that make some makeup brushes, not saying everyone, some makeup brushes can have more bacteria in it than the average toilet seat. What? So can you imagine? So you've got fungal things like E. coli, bacteria, mold, yeast. This can lead to fungal infections like conjunctivitis. So there the could eye. be fecal matter yes, on your makeup. Exactly, your brushes. Brushes. Yes, Cat and you're TV. doing a double dip to oh. your eyes when you're doing your eyeshadows and your mascaras. Get little mites on your lashes. Oh. All sorts of nasties can be transferred onto your face. See, Bethan, this is why sometimes I use my fingers, cos I always wash but, my hands before. I was about before. to say, make sure your hands Always are wash washed. my hands before I do my makeup. So you think so your hands are good. cleaner than the brushes well, that you've got? Well, because I wash them... or more I wash regularly. my hands more regularly, good, and then good. I'll wash them straight That's after. That's fine. That's fine, then. Because you kind of forget. You're just getting on with your That's everyday it. life, and you're trying to get ready as quickly as possible, and someone's shouting, Mom, can I there have my... There you go. You know, I, before exactly. you know it, you before turn you around know and it. go, up. I haven't washed it in... You can have a bag that looks like that. Look at that. We've all seen Whose it. Whose is this? Well, um, by no the way. one's owning up, owning up in no the No one's owning up. So, for it. you know, what can I say? This, no, it's... I'm just looking around the crew. They've all come from the crew. Oh, he's owned under. up over there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ian just put his hands up. Birthday so it was boy, his. I think, might. Uh, 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 happy have, birthday. Have Gavin, so is that your makeup bag? <laughs> no, 21 no. today is. Oh, 21 bless today. Him. Time you tidied and cleaned up. Yeah. But so let me show you how we can sort this out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it's not that hard. It's quite easy. There's lots of products out there. Mm -hmm. You can use an antibacterial liquid spray. Just spritz it on like that. Use an antibacterial wipe. You know, mm. Dettol does good ones. Mm. Wipe it down. And all you need to do this is once a week. Okay. And that and will then clean. keep it clean. Right, obviously, when you put your brushes back in, your brushes need to be clean, because yes. otherwise you're going to mess it all up. It's not going to work. No. But that is so quick and easy to do. So yep. it's not that hard. Well, and, and then also, you, have... you can get very cheap makeup bags these you days can. as well. So You can. You can. And you can just wipe it down, front, back, inside. The transparent ones, I think, are the best, because you can see the dirt on it straight away. You can so see things the foundation. Like this. Things yeah. like this. Okay. You can see... You know, the dirt. Well, that is, they easier. obviously don't seem to This mind, is they... really gross. I know. I don't know if any the camera can see this. Look at that. The inside. I don't even know how anyone even walks around. And this is one of the like crews that. as well? This is one of the crews, I'm afraid. It's actually... You lot need a deep clean. <laughs> you all need, need a deep clean. A deep clean. It's disgusting. But, okay. Everyone's... Everyone's hiding. We're going to move over because I'm going to show you. Show us brushes because if ever I have washed brushes, okay. I've used shampoo. That's fine. Can is I that ask right? you how often you wash your brushes? Nowhere near enough. I remember I you was in. You shampoo a... your brushes? Yes. Yeah. Like a little bit of. Yeah, you yeah. get it in your hand. There we go. Shampoo. Oh, she knows, she knows you her stuff. get it in your hand. Sure. Cat knows her stuff. Cat Ish. knows her stuff. So basically, you should be washing your brushes at least once a week. Sponges like these should be washed daily <laughs> because the amount of mould, bacteria, gross nasties that can stay on things like sponges and your double dipping going back on your face is disgusting. And it's not good for you. It's really harmful to your skin mm. as okay. well. And to so you. how do you do it then? So all you need to do, you can have washing up liquid. Which, which is I, better. Which I actually use a lot more often than the other stuff which I'm going to show you. Okay. So a bit of washing up liquid, warm water, swirl it in, go on a little towel like that. And then obviously just rinse it off. Look how quick that's happened. Yeah. See? That's and then just you that. rinse it with plain water. Rinse and it then... back, leave it to air dry. Just yes. put it on the side like that. Leave it to air dry. Yep. And Bob's your uncle. But I mean, done. you don't even need anything special. That's the great thing about it. That's the it. great thing. I mean, like... washing up liquid is cheap, you know. Or if you prefer, want a nicer smell, shampoo. Or softer brush exactly. sometimes. Exactly. Nice, smell. fluffy, soft brush. Yep. Shampoo's good. Now, a lot of people like devices and gadgets, don't they? So yeah. this is a nice one. This is by Style Pro. Okay. And let me show you how this one works. So they've got lots of little brush holders. So you pick what size your brush is, and then you pop it into this end there, mm. switch it on. <laughs> And it twirls around. Oh, well, it was working before, but anyway, let's That's see. Broken. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Right, let me switch it off because I'm going to show you. So the Style Pro comes with a liquid This cleaner. is for cleaning? For cleaning okay. the brushes. <laughs> now, the liquid's in there. Let me show you. So you pop it in. I'm actually quite scared to do this because I just don't want this to fly. 
Hang on, let's see if this works. Oy! There you go. So wow. it swirls around, you swirl your brush around, and that just cleans it, and then you just dry it off again with right. your cloth. And that gives you a nice clean brush. Lovely, clean brush. but and not entirely necessary. No, I mean, I like to bung a quite a lot of brushes in at once, probably like me, yeah. and then just get them clean. This and is an individual brush soap. thing. Or you can use, like, a soap as well. So Donna Mae London does a brush soap, so yep. that's quite nice. It's, it's a got a little ridge. brush soap. It's not just, like, you know... No, it's not a regular... Imperial No, leather. Imperial Leather or Piers yeah, yeah, yeah. soap. It's an actual it's a four brushes, okay. yeah. And this has got a grapefruit and mandarin scent that oh. comes with a refillable one as well. It's got a little towel and a little bag. Lovely. So, you know, you get cute stuff like that as well. And then you've got the antibacterial spray, which you can just literally do that. Spray on your brush. Wipe it down on the towel, mm -hmm. nice and clean. Or you got a sponge cleaner mm -hmm. as well. So there's lots of things out there. Ranging from washing up liquid to... Yeah. Uh, to specific now, gadgets. Yeah. Now, this is a big one because a lot of people... This is where the fungal infections come out. <laughs> they don't know the expiry dates on makeup. Right. So you've got eyeshadows, you've fungal got Fungal infections now, crew, so pay attention. <laughs> yeah, but we've all got, like, old makeup that what we... What are you going to say? We've all got a fungal all you, infection. Well, all you... <laughs> I have. Can I've you got imagine? some cream for you all <laughs> if you need it. Well, all you need to do is look at the dates. So at the back of the makeup, there's Go expiry on. dates. So you've got a number and you've got a month. So... You, for example, if it says 12M, it'll be 12 months. It expires after 12 months. Oh, okay. Get rid of it. How do you remember when you months. bought it? Well, you look at the back of it. But if oh, you're... how do you? Mm. So you need to mark. Yeah, so it that's, says that's, it's around you know, 12 yeah, months. Yeah, you'll you just have to kind of need to remember. So hold on, are eyeshadows 12 months? Eyeshadows are 12. 12 <gasps> to 18. Wait, 12 to 18 months. Okay. We've got another six months on and that. And they go off. Yeah, mascaras are but three they... to six months. That's probably no. one of the main ones. And foundations, you throw it away after about a year or less because some oxidise. Okay. But, um, so, I wanted. I did want to show you a little quick hack on one. Yeah. Thing. So can you bring some stuff back to life. I think that's. Oh the... yeah, you can bring stuff back to life. So if things like blushes and powders crack and like yeah, you know, they if fall, you drop don't them, don't throw them away. Get a bit of olive oil, dip it into like the blush. You can make a nice little lip gloss out of that if you just stir it. Leave it to the side. Lip gloss. You can make a cheek tint. You can make a glossy eye. So don't throw things away. Powders that crack. Mm. Sieve it. Crush it up. Sieve it. Pour it back. Loose setting powder. Nice and easy. Oh, wow. And a bit of ISO um, brush. Well, this is an ISO rubbing alcohol. Yeah. You just spritz it in and you could just press it down on your powder. And then it'll be back and to And back to life. Good as new. Yeah, wow. within 24 hours. OK. So okay. there's lots of little tips and tricks and hacks that you can do. But most importantly, clean, clean your, your brushes. Clean your brushes and your makeup bags. Done. I, this, I get the makeup goes off. Oh, that's amazing. I think my mum's still got stuff off. from the 50s. Especially oh. lipsticks. Smell it. Smell lipsticks. Oh, God, they're the worst when they sniff go off. It. <laughs> sniff it. Sniff it. Sniff the lipstick. The sniff thank test. Thank you, darling. Well, thank you. you so much. OK.